Hello, my fellow parasites. Parasites? Apologize! No. Anyway, welcome to Season 4 of the Venom Vlog. This season we'll be covering Venom 2 movie news, more classic Venom and Carnage stories, the Spider-Man Maximum Venom animated series, and all comics involving Eugene Flash Thompson. So sit back and enjoy another exciting episode of The Venom Vlog. I'm Tom Hardy and you're watching The Venom Vlog. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And it is raining like crazy out here in California right now. And uh, obviously this you know epidemic that's going on, this pandemic that's going around right now with the uh, viruses and stuff it's uh, it's a pretty scary time i you know i ran out to do an errand today and then also have lunch with a friend and everywhere i went was pretty dead i mean there were people looking for supplies and stuff at like targets and walmarts but outside of that i mean it was pretty dead the roads were pretty empty it's pretty easy to get place to place and that's kind of crazy out here in california uh because we're usually you know very busy even just getting out of my neighborhood sometimes can be a hassle and Today, no problems, no hassle at all. So, uh, you know, be safe out there. I just want to send that message out and uh, everyone out there who is, you know, feeling like they're under the weather or sick, you know, you could go to the CDC website and they kind of mention, um, you know, the differences between uh, this virus and then, you know, and just regular you know, flu stuff. Uh, so make sure you go there, stay informed, you know, get get your water, get your toilet paper, whatever, before everyone else does. I use three seashells. I don't know if you guys seen Demolition Man, but I just use three seashells. I haven't used toilet paper in probably eight years uh, at least. So, uh, so yeah, I, once I figured out how to use the three seashells, I was like, yeah, I'm never using toilet paper again. So I'm not too worried about that part, uh, but I know some of you guys out there are. So until you figure out how the three seashells work, um, you know, you know, get some toilet paper for yourselves. Uh, but what we're going to talk about today, we're not here to talk about viruses really, but it's a show about venom. So every once in a while you got to kind of mention, and it's, you know, the vlog is about me. It's about the world around me and how we, you know, we talk about that and, you know, the show and the characters. So it, you know, so <laughs> that's what we do here. So, um, so anyway, but I do want to just wish well, everybody, because I know some people who have been feeling under the weather who, you know, are like, oh, dude, do I, I'm like, hey, man, I'm not a doctor. Like, I guess I see a lot of doctors, but about aneurysms and stuff. I don't see a lot of doctors about flus and stuff. So, um, yeah, you know, educate yourself at the CDC website and uh, and go from there. But, you know, be safe out there. Um, and, uh, and so while this is all going on, uh, you know, obviously we have a lot of Venom stuff still happening. I know it's been slow on Venom news right now, but, uh, but you know, the show's got to go on and I have to move and I got to pack stuff up and that includes clothes and toys and everything. And I said, you know, I, I already packed up my toys and I kind of reviewed a lot of those for you guys or showed you guys those toys, except for a couple back there. I don't know if I'll get to them before I leave, uh, you know, here, but if not, then we'll, when I open them, you know, or, or you know, put it on the shelf and stuff in Florida, we'll talk about those toys in, but you can see I have some toys from the Disney store back there. And, uh, and that's kind of what this is all about is uh, the new Disney XD Venom, Maximum Venom Spider-Man cartoon. Uh, that's, you know, it took me a long time to get here, but here we are. That's what we're talking about today. And I thought I'd pad this episode a little bit because this is probably going to go by really fast because I'm just going to show you guys a couple t-shirts that I got at Hot Topic. And I saw people out there going like, hey, where's all this Venom merchandise coming from? Well, this is a Venom product that's coming from Disney and Disney does promote a lot of their shows the best they can. They, they put a lot of money in the merchandise and stuff and they want these things in their theme park and in their stores and everything um, and then also in other stores and other retailers like Hot Topic and Box Lunch and stuff so uh, so I was like yeah let's talk about some Hot Topic t-shirts that you can buy right now that are Venom related uh, on the website and I'll put a link down below to the Maximum Venom sub site uh, on Hot Topic and I think right now they had like a 40% off sale when I bought these but then they had a 30% off sale up until like two days ago and uh, and so it looks like they're just going to constantly put these on uh, sale you, uh, I think some of them you can't use your Hot Cash like if you collect Hot Cash from Hot Topic I don't think you can combine that with any promos they're running for these shirts, uh, but these shirts are awesome. And I would say whether you pay full price for them or if you get them at a discount, you know, pick some up. I picked up about five of them. I'm wearing a Carnage one right now. Uh, this is not a Maximum Venom shirt. And here, let me kind of stand. Um, this is not a Maximum Venom shirt. It's just a cool Carnage shirt that I saw at Hot Topic when I went there the other day. And I was like, you know what? I'll get that because I don't have a Carnage shirt. So I figured now would be a time to get one. I think I had one at one point before, but I couldn't find it when I was packing. So uh, what we have here today is we have some Maximum Venom shirts for the new cartoon. And we did just today get some new news about uh, the cartoon that's coming out and when it's releasing. So we'll talk about that in the next episode. This is me just kind of building more of the hype for the show and to let you guys know that if you are Venom fans and you're looking for Venom t-shirts or Venom toys and stuff, there is a lot of merchandise out there right now. We are living in the heyday. It's like a great time to be a Venom fan between the movie. He has, he's starring in his own cartoon with Spider-Man now, uh, you know, that's coming up in April. Um, and then we have all these shirts and toys. 
and it's just great it's a great time even like short boxes for comic books have venom plastered all over them so uh yeah it's a really great time to be a venom fan so hopefully you guys are on the hype train as well and if you are pick up some of these shirts we have here spider-man and this is uh, his new design we talked about it in my toy videos but if you didn't watch that I, a question i get asked a lot is why is spider-man white in this why isn't he in the black costume uh it's because venom this is not venom this is not the venom symbiote bonding with spider-man the whole point of maximum venom is that venom and we'll talk more about this in the next episode but it's that venom you know eddie brock venom uh, on earth releases a signal kind of like planet of the symbiote style and it draws the clintar race to earth for an invasion and so other heroes get other symbiotes. So Spider-Man gets hit with this white symbiote, which I think is cool because it kind of makes him look a little bit like that poison version of him from Venomized, which I really dug that design. Um, but uh, but without the poison stuff, because I really didn't like that plot point. Um, but I do like, you know, playing the symbiotes. I like that, you know, storyline a lot. So uh, this is cool. So you get a like a white symbiote that bonds with Spider-Man, I guess, at some point in the storyline. And whether he, you know, makes it heroic or not, I don't know. We'll see. Or maybe this is like an anti-venom thing. You know, like I have no idea. Uh, we'll have to wait and see how the show handles it. But yeah, this shirt was really cool. You can get it in men. I think most of these clothes are these shirts I found are men and women. I think you can find for both designs. Some of them I think were just in female designs, like just in women's, which was cool because it was like uh, cool and also like for for women who want to buy these. But for like someone like me, I'm like, no, I want uh, I want I want the Doctor Strange one, and I can only find that in women's sizes on the website so uh so hopefully at some point when these close i think they're online now and they'll release maybe in stores in april like the toys i think i don't know for sure on that one so just keep an eye out for your local hot topic talk to your local hot topic and ask them when they expect these shirts in but for now at least you can buy them online and uh, and so the next one we have is uh, and like i said the doc strange one i really want but i so far only seen it at women's but maybe they're still rolling out new designs and i actually just went to the site last night and i saw there was a couple new shirts on there that weren't there the first time so it looks like they're really rolling these out which is great um the next one i have obviously is cap this is the only one in blue i got i think uh iron man's a red shirt hulk is a green shirt cap here is a blue shirt and then the other ones are mostly black shirts or white shirts uh, but yeah, this one's a really cool one. I had to get Cap, man. I love Cap so much. And uh, and when I saw this Venomized design, again, uh, this is Patrick Brown's artwork. And we talked about him in a recent episode. So if you haven't checked it out, please go check it out so that you can follow him on Instagram. And you can see all the cool artwork he's been doing for this new cartoon series. Um, that shirt I'm going to save for close to the end there. Um, all right, here we go. We got... Another large, I wear larges right now, and I'm also trying to use it to encourage me. If you remember when we first started the show, I was trying to lose weight when we started the show. I'm going to get back to that when I get to Florida to try to lose at least like 20 pounds is going to be my goal. And so these shirts will fit, will fit a little bit better. They're snug right now, uh, but they'll fit a little bit better when I, when I drop a few pounds. But uh, I thought this would inspire me. So, yeah, now I have Miles Morales. And uh, he looks freaking awesome. <laughs> Again, you've seen a lot of the artwork. This is Patrick Brown's art. So you've probably seen a lot of this stuff already in our previous video. Uh, but it's so cool to have it on a shirt. I love his art style. And I heard that his art style is going to influence the design of the characters for the show. So the show isn't apparently going to follow the same exact animation that it had in the first two seasons. Because this is Spider-Man Maximum Venom. So it's the third season of the Spider-Man show. And I guess it's going to wrap up the Spider-Man show and connect all the, like the Guardians of the Galaxy show. All the stuff that connected to it timeline wise is all going to get wrapped up in this big event. So again, we'll talk more about that in the next episode. But when I uh, heard that, I was like, I got to get some of these shirts now. And I want all of them now. I want to go find the Doctor Strange one. Hopefully they make that in men's. I want to get the Hulk one, the Iron Man one. So yeah, I'm just going to have a whole Venom wardrobe uh, for the rest of, uh, for at least for the rest of the next couple of years, hopefully. Uh, these shirts, you know, they seem pretty sturdy. So hopefully they last a while. Um, but yeah, we got Gwenum here. Uh, she is in the show, obviously Gwen Stacy. Uh, she's like her and Miles are characters on the show, recurring characters. Um, so yeah, they're going to get Venom symbiotes, uh, which looks really cool. And her design very much mimics the comic book uh, very closely. And I love a lot of these still have the, you know, classic Venom, you know, Spider design logo in the back under there too. So um, yeah, Gwen, man, I'm so glad I got that shirt. And then this last one I got, and again, there are others, so I'll put a link below so you can go find out all the others for yourself. Um, we have this one that just says, We Are Venom. And it has everybody on it. <laughs> uh, yeah, except I don't think the Doctor Strange is not on here. Captain Marvel, Hulk, uh, you know, Iron Man there in the middle, Spider-Man, and Captain America. So, uh, yeah, no Doctor Strange, no Groot, you know, any of those characters. Um, but still really awesome. Still featuring Patrick Brown's artwork. 
And uh, yeah, I just had to have it, especially with the We Are Venom. How many times do we say that on this show? How many ha how many times do I hashtag that out, you know, on a weekly basis? Um, so yeah, so these five shirts are, are the ones I got, right? Did I count right? One, two, three, four, five? I think so. Um, so yeah, all those you can get at Hot Topic. This Carnage one you can get at Hot Topic. And if you want to go to the sister store of Hot Topic, which is Box Lunch, there is currently a box that has Thanos in it. And it's a venomized Thanos and he glows in the dark. And it's like an exclusive. It's $30 for the box. These shirts run about 20 to 25 bucks each. But like I said, you might be able to find them on sale or, or use hot cash in the store form. I don't know how the you know that's going to work out. Uh, but I don't think these are in stores yet either. So you just, again, check with your local Hot Topic before you know before you take my word. Definitely don't take my word. I don't know all the, the dealings of this one. For, but I just know that sometimes they do run promotions on their website. And that's where you can get these shirts right now at least. I haven't seen them in stores yet. But I imagine they're coming soon since the show's starting very, very soon. Uh, but like I said, if you go to Box Lunch, which is also connected to Hot Topic, they're like owned by the same company now, uh, or they have been for a while, uh, you can pick up that Thanos box and it has a Thanos Funko Pop in it, but it also has this cool Thanos shirt that has a venomized Thanos on the front, but then when you turn it around, it's got venomized Thanos on his throne. Uh, and he looks freaking awesome. And he's got the Infinity Gauntlet there with blue fire coming off it. It looks really, really great. So yeah, if, even if you're just trying to create for the first time your Venom wardrobe, um, or if you want to add to the one you already have existing, you know, pick up some of these shirts. They're freaking awesome. Uh, I'll put the link down below. Uh, they come in different sizes. Uh, I think uh, you know, small, medium, large, extra large, double XL, um, and so and then men and women's as well. So I don't know. I think there's a couple kid design ones too that don't look like this. There's some that just say Maximum Venom on it. It's like a white T-shirt. It's the same one I saw at Walmart.com. So it looks like. And then there's some gray ones that you know have like a collection of the characters on it. So they do make different ones for kids, uh, for women, for men. But then they also have a lot of the ones that are the same, and you can get them in either kids, women, or men sizes so uh yeah pick them up and uh you know if you don't have a venom wardrobe yeah i understand you know for years and years there was uh there was times where i'm like looking for venom products there was always like a toy like if they did a marvel legend series or a toy biz back when they did you know marvel toys like there was always at least a toy you could get and sometimes a poster with artwork from the character you know uh, like from one of the comic books there was always something like that or you can obviously pick up a comic book with venom in it but there wasn't like what we have now like we are living in a golden age of Venom stuff right now. We have, I have a Venom record on uh, vinyl from the soundtrack for the first movie. Um, I have, you know, these t-shirts. I have toys, like a, a ton of them. I have jackets and shirts with all kind of Venom stuff on them. I mean, I've seen shoes now that I have out there that we talked about in previous seasons where they design new shoes that have, you know, Venom's design to them and stuff and like Gwenom's design and stuff. And it's just awesome. It's a great time to be a Venom fan. And that's why I'm so glad I have this show and I get to meet all you guys and we can talk about all the stuff we love about Venom. And I got to give a shout out to our friends at the Venom site, who I should have mentioned at the beginning of this video. I'm sorry I didn't. Uh, I got to mention them, though, because they're the ones who first posted about these T-shirts and the 40% off deal that Hot Topic was having on the first night that they released the shirts. And that was during, I think, New York Toy Fair, like that weekend. So it was a couple weekends ago and it was like right after my surgery and I was like laying in bed and I was kind of miserable. And then I was like, hey, look, look at all this stuff I can buy. So I bought all the Titan Heroes Maximum Venom toys and I bought all these t-shirts and it definitely cheered me up for sure um, but now I get to share them all with you guys and hopefully you guys go out and buy some for yourselves and if you do let me know which of these shirts you're planning on picking up or which ones you already did pick up in the comments down below and we'll continue our conversation down there thanks so much for watching the show as always like share subscribe all that fun stuff and stay tuned for the next episode because we're going to talk a lot about new information that just came out on Maximum Venom so thank you so much see you in the future peace